Hello everybody, I'm so excited today to share a drugstore surprise with you. I'm going to show you how this drugstore find has helped me to cover my rosacea and facial redness. I have a new Holy Grail BB cream in town and it's giving all of my other favorites a run for their money. This BB cream by L'Oreal is amazing. I've been using it for a little over a month and I am absolutely loving it. Today I'm talking about the L'Oreal Skin Beautifier BB Cream Anti-Redness. It's made with beautifying beads that counteract redness. It's a multitasking ultralight lotion that delivers four beautifying actions in one. It neutralizes the look of redness, it evens your skin tone, hydrates and perfects. It instantly transforms to your perfect shade for a flawless bare skin finish. You know I don't like a heavy foundation, so I was really curious to try this Drugstore BB Cream by L'Oreal. And I have to tell you, I am obsessed. I can't stop using it. It's watery, which I like because a lot of the other CC creams that I've tried in the past, they're just too thick. And I don't like feeling like I have something on my face. It just, it drives me nuts. Because I have oily skin, I always like my skin to feel fresh and light. I can't stand that feeling that, you know, makeup is um, been piled on my face. I just, I hate that. So I was really, really surprised when I tried the Anti-Redness BB Cream by L'Oreal. I already owned one of the L'Oreal BB Creams in the light, but because I do have mild rosacea and I do like to even out my skin tone, and cover the redness, I was really happy with the results that I got using the L'Oreal BB Cream Anti-Redness BB Cream. That's a lot of BB Cream. Anyhow, I tried it when I was on my cruise. I got a sunburn, not specifically for testing purposes, but that's another story. And I can assure you it really covered the redness in my sunburn. I was really, really surprised. I love this BB cream because it's lightweight. It's great on my oily, mature skin. Like I said, it does not make my skin feel heavy or oily. And I just set it with a little bit of powder and I am good to go for the rest of the day. It is 9.48. I'm just showing you that. So whenever I come back later to um, do the check-in at the end of the day. I do like to shake it a little bit because it is a little more watery consistency. And then I just like to put it on with my fingers. So it did a pretty good job of hiding my redness. And I think that the shade is like spot on for me. So there's some kind of technology where it interacts with your skin and it creates a perfect shade for you. I'm not going anywhere today, but I thought I'd just put on a little bit of makeup, but I will put a timestamp for my check-in at 6 p.m. tonight if you don't want to watch me do the rest of my makeup. So I'm not doing anything special today. I'm just sticking around home. So I'm just gonna set everything with the Laura Mercier setting powder. I'm actually just editing some videos today. And then I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of bronzer all over the face using the same brush by Cosmetics. Just for a little color. It's raining today, so I'm just gonna stay put. Actually, I really didn't buy very much in the Sephora sale. And I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough stuff to do a haul, but I will show it in like a Get Ready With Me video. I do plan on returning the makeup erasers that I bought. They're just way too small. I didn't open the package, but they're like smaller than this calculator. For the price, I just couldn't justify keeping them. I just found them way too small. But I did buy the Bobbi Brown perfume and I was gonna show it to you after I put my makeup on. I really, really like it and I will keep it. I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it. There's a scent that it reminds me of and I can't put my finger on it, but it's from my childhood. And the minute that I, I smelt the note, 
I'm wondering if it's jasmine or magnolia. It just brought me back to my childhood and I've been ra racking my brain trying to remember like what memory this is evoking. That was kind of cool. No eyeshadow, just gonna put a little mascara on using the Charlotte Tilbury Push Up Lashes. I have no idea where it's going because I don't have my contacts in today. So hopefully uh, I'm not making a mess. I'll, I'll check after I put it on. And that's usually how I like to do things by the seat of my pants. What do you know? I managed not to screw that up. <laughs> and then to finish everything, I'm going to use this uh, lip gloss from Charlotte Tilbury. It looks red, but it goes on pink and it's called Candy Darling. And then we're going to finish off with some of this new perfume. Oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. I just, I love it. Mmm. So that is my favorite purchase from the Sephora sale. So I think that's a pretty nice look for around the house. It doesn't completely cover all of my imperfections, but it just makes everything look nice and smooth and even. It hides my redness. I do have rosacea. At times my rosacea flares up uh, and right now it's been pretty calm, but I still do have underlying redness in my skin. And this just kind of makes it all go away and look uniform and look nice. So I'll come back probably, it's 5 to 10. It's 9.56. Good morning. That's Minnie Mouse on my watch. Um, it's 5 to 10. I'll probably come back around 6. That'll give me an 8 hour wear test. I'm not going to touch up my face at all during the day. I'll zoom in close so you can see what it looks like. And we'll see how it wears all day. I have been wearing it for about a month. Um, I do like it. I like it a lot better than the IT CC cream because I find the IT CC cream is too thick. I love the consistency of this. I'm debating if I should buy the new IT Cosmetics Nude Glow. I kind of am curious to try it, but it is expensive. It's like fifty some dollars plus tax. And... I have two of the other IT CC creams. I have the regular and the illuminating. I prefer the illuminating over the regular, but I just find both formulas are very thick and sometimes they oxidize on me, which I don't like. Um, I'm gonna think on that. And if I, I do buy it, I will let you know and obviously do a video on it. So I'll see you back around six o'clock tonight. So it is 6, 10 p.m. I'm standing outside uh, just to get some natural light. I just wanted to show you what the BB cream looks like after eight hours of wear. I do have some oil on my T-zone and on my cheeks. That's normal for me because I have oily skin, but I'm really pleased with how well this BB cream does last. Of course, it's not going to cover all my imperfections, but it certainly is still doing a great job at covering my redness. And it, I don't even feel it on my face. It doesn't, you know, have that heaviness that a lot of CC creams do. So I just wanted to show you what it looked like after eight hours of wear. If you found my video helpful, I hope that you will give it a like. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so for more beauty, skincare, fashion, and travel videos for women over 50. Thanks for watching.